Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more historic here on Magic Arena. And today we're doing things a little bit differently. We are going to be looking at a deck that we built on stream uh, over the weekend and had a ton of fun playing. But with that being said, let's just hop right into today's deck and we are playing Thrill of the Mill. So we are playing a mono red deck, um, basically our favorite archetype on Magic Arena. We're going to be playing a ton of just big red cards. Um, we're going to obviously try to ramp slash cheat out these cards uh, as quickly as possible. And then from there, we are going to essentially win based off of a weird mill condition. So let's look at some of the cards. And first off, we're going to highlight one of the newest cards from Lord of the Rings. And maybe you uh, ha all have seen this card already. But we are going to be looking at Palantir of Orth uh, Orthonk. I don't really know how to say that last, uh, that name, but that's what we're going to go with. So this is a three mana legendary artifact. It says at the beginning of your end step, put an influence counter on it and then scry two. Then target opponent may have you draw a card. Uh, but if they don't have you draw a card, then you are going to mill X cards equal to the number of counters on it. And then they are going to take damage equal to the total mana value of cards um, that get milled instead. So because, again, we are playing a ton of big and expensive cards, whether they're red or colorless, we are hoping to potentially mill them, or they're going to mill us. We're going to hopefully be able to scry some of those really expensive cards to the top of our deck. Uh, if they mill them, then they're going to take a bunch of damage. But if they let us draw those cards, then we're going to have super powerful cards in our hand that we're going to be able just to take over the game and win with anyway. So uh, in my eyes, it's a win-win situation. Um, and then we are also going to go back and look at one of our old friends, the Combustible Gear Hulk. So this is going to really fit in and synergize kind of with the same way that uh, Palantir really works. Uh, combustible gear hulk six mana six six first striker when it comes into the uh when it enters the battlefield we get to either draw three or our opponent can have us mill three and then again if they choose to have us mill then they're going to take damage equals to the mana cost of those three cards that get milled so it's very possible that we could potentially mill um two cards that cost 10 or a bunch of cards that cost six or seven and we may be able to just one shot our opponent again we're gonna have a lot of fun we're going to try to do uh, a lot of unfair things, but ultimately it's going to be up to our opponent to decide whether or not that they want to live or not, or how quickly that they want to die. So let's just look through all of these cards real quickly so that we can get right into the gameplay because again, this gameplay is super exciting. So we have four Strike It Rich. Strike It Rich is in here um, just for the fact that it's going to allow us to either drop a turn two Blood Sun or a turn two Palantir. Again, I, I feel like either one of these is going to be um, a powerful play. Obviously, if we can drop a turn two Blood Sun, Blood Sun basically you know turns off all of the extra um, abilities on land, so it lets us cheat a Lotus Field into play. So a turn two Blood Sun gives us access to five mana potentially on turn three, um, or we can play a turn two Palantir and then get those scries and get those mills started. Our opponent may, at that point may not really know what we're going to be doing, and it may they may just let us mill early on, or they may just let us draw early on. But again, the faster that we can get that into play and maybe generate card advantage or deal damage, it's really going to shift how their, decision, their decisions work. Because if they just let us draw cards early on, we're probably going to win the game because we're just getting a whole bunch of card advantage. But if they... If they immediately start milling and then they immediately take a shot for like six, seven, or ten, they may back off and say, oh, well, maybe I don't want to do this anymore. Um, and then again, they're going to be giving us cards and then we're just going to have an advantage. And then that should just help us win the game. Obviously, Mindstone is in this deck for obviously the same reasons. If we can turn to Mindstone, then we get to do a, you know Blood Sun on turn three into a Lotus Field on turn three. And then have that three extra mana to maybe also play Palantir, maybe play another Blood Sun, maybe even flash back a Strike at Rich. So it's really going to give us a little bit of flexibility. We have three copies of Valakut Awakening. This is good because, again, it is a land. But if we do get to a point where we just need to draw more cards or swap out some of our big cards, put them back into our deck, or um, maybe get more land, this is going to allow us to take those cards from our hand, 
reshuffle them uh, or put them at the bottom of our library and then draw that many cards hoping to either get us answer or just ways to finish the game hour of devastation this is just a big five damage to everything make stuff lose indestructible it is just a way to clear the board and uh, again i decided to play hour of uh, devastation because if we can turn to blood sun maybe on turn three when we play that lotus field that we have access to five mana there are a lot of decks that do get started pretty quickly and being able to deal five damage to everything on the board instead of three with like an anger of the gods or even four with storm's wrath that could be uh, pretty important we are playing haphazard bombardment again haphazard bombardment is one of our favorite cards it uh six mana enchantment lets us put four counters uh, or let's just put one counter on four different things that are not other enchantments. And then at the end of the turn, we get to destroy something at random. A lot of fun. And it's just going to help us uh, stay ahead of our opponent. We're playing, we're going to try out two copies of this new uh, Itali Primal Conqueror. It's a seven mana spell. It's got trample. When it comes into play, um, you and your opponent are each going to exile cards until you hit a non-land card. And then you get to cast those for free, which is super, super awesome. And then on the off chance that we are not winning the game right then and there, we do have the option then to pay 10 mana, 9 colorless, and 1 green Phyrexian mana, which you can just pay 2 life for. You get to transfer uh, transform Atali. Uh, Atali then becomes an 11-11 Trample Indestructible. And uh, yeah, when it deals damage, it deals that many poison counters. So we could just potentially one-shot our opponent in that way. Um, but also, it costing 7 is just going to be amazing with, uh, you know, Combustible Gear Hulk and uh, Palantir. And then, of course, we have four copies of Star of Extinction. What giant, awesome, red, you know, big red deck would we be playing if we did not have four copies of Star of Extinction? And finally, to round it all out, we have two copies of Ulamog. Ulamog obviously is a card that I, you know, can go back and forth on whether or not it belongs in Historic or on Arena. But uh, again, we are just utilizing it mainly for the fact that it costs 10 mana, if we do cast it, yes, we are probably going to win the game. But at the same time, right, I, I just think it's going to be funny if we happen to uh, hit somebody with the Palantir or the Combustible Gear Hulk and then just, uh, you know, basically have them lose half their life. Other than that, we've got 20 Mountains, four copies of Lois Field, and that is the deck, Thrill the Mill. Let's uh, see our opponent mill us, and we're going to punish them for it. Uh, and then remember, again... These are games that we've already played. We already know how those games turn out, but I don't want to ruin the fun. There are a lot of great games, and yeah, we we just want to get right into it. Again, we are streaming on Twitch on the weekends. Don't typically stream during the week because of work, but if you do want to find us, twitch.tv forward slash BA Matumbo. Join us there, drop a follow, and you can come hang out. You can drop ideas for decks. You can join the Discord. Link's going to be down below. Uh, either way, just come hang out. It's a good time. Uh, other than that, let's hop right into the games, and we will see you all at the wrap-up. All right, well, let's just uh, let's just play a whole lot of games in a row that were just like that first game, right? Oh, Flo, are you gonna try to sell me your insurance? Um. Okay, so this is Gigantha. They're playing that Is It deck. No, we got a mulligan that. Uh, I think we can keep this. Oh, this is not that deck. Okay. Um, is this correct? I think so. So what is this? I didn't finish reading it. Put a land card in your hand, tapped. Um, channel, you can... It conjures two forests? It's interesting. Uh, 
All right, let's do it to it. <clears throat> what do you got over there, my friend? Uh oh. Beware of the gates ablaze. Oh, and you're just going to concede after we try to draw two cards? Okay. Okay. Well, it's off to a good start, right? Mulligan to five. Get exactly what you need. Ugh. It hurts. Marco. Bolo. Okay, equipment. Now the question is, Gets them four fours. All right, well. So if we play this now, all right, let me do some, let me do some thinking here. We play this now, next turn we strike a rich and then the turn after, yeah, I think it's fine. Cool, take six. <clears throat> Three, four, so we take four here. Oh, we we almost could have killed them right there. So the problem here is four to ten. This Smith is gonna grow out of range, I think, right? So it's gonna be a five five. Next turn it's gonna be a six six. Ten eleven, we're at four. Maybe they don't see the play. Oh, they see the play. Come on.
Come on, mill it. Mill it. Oh, you coward. You coward. All right, good game. Good game. <laughs> oh, you coward. I mean, it was obviously right for them to do that. That was an instant pairing. You think the you think magma opus would work in here? Maybe. Oh, maybe instead of the strike it rich. Um. I have to think about that. Yeah, because it does mill for eight, but. Hmm. Because the Strike It Rich is just in here, right, to potentially turn to Blood Moon, which we, I mean, we may not ever do that. Mind Stone. I need, like, a Spider-Man point meme, like, from Marvel Snap. I wouldn't mind just drawing a land for the next two turns. Oh man, we're gonna have to try to hit that. Oh yeah, we we definitely have to play haphazard bombardment now. Such a gross card. It really makes you wonder, like, what they're thinking when they put some of these cards back onto Arena. Yep, free Mind Stone. Ugh, now a Cloud Key, okay. I mean, those are going to be the four we target. Blood Sun, well... I mean, rather hit that than the Mind Stone, I guess. Uh, are we dead? Oh, it must be nice. Holy moly. Come on, game. He gets a draw with the ring. Yep. Okay. Okay. We're not dead. I really need to draw land here. Okay. It's not great. I mean, they're trying they're trying to win right now, obviously. Okay, I said any land, right? Uh, 
Uh, maybe I should have put one on the ring because the ring's indestructible. And that would have made our chances better. Maybe that was the play. What do you have to do? You just want to activate your your guardian idol? Come on, game. Okay. Okay. Shatter skull smashing. Um what is that? Two two red and X? Oh, I mean, they're still... Oh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. They have to play more than one um, Reservoir, right? I mean, they have an Inventor's Fair in, in play. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. I'm so confused right now. I mean, we can't really do anything. It's a little awkward. Come on. Okay. All right. They're still leagues ahead of us. They have a one ring. Oh, okay. I mean, that's game, right? It's game. Do we make them go through the uh, the motions? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah, it was a fun game. Definitely a fun game. But yeah, that deck... I see that deck every once in a while. I still need to build my own version of it. Um, but again, I'm not really like looking to burn through all those wild cards right now. It's definitely worth think thinking about, right? Um... Two, yes, two damage is better than zero when you're trying to deal damage. Um, this is one of those hands. We're going to try it. I believe... Believe in the blood moon, then the blood moon will come. Believe in the blood moon, and the blood moon will come. Oh no. Oh no. Play mountain. I have four, five, so now we gotta. We could be dead here. My <laughs> kiln speed is just. We're not dead. Okay. Start over. Okay, so I guess we're just going to Combustible Gear Hulk, see what happens. Thrill of the Mill. Take seven. Soul Scar Mage, all right. Yep.
see what happens. Um, gain trample. I mean, just throw it out there, right? I think we're drawing three here. Oh, no, we're just killing our opponent. <laughs> Take 12. Oh, man, that feels so good. I've missed you, Combustible Gear Hulk. Please don't ever go away. Please always be in my hand forever. It's definitely risky being at nine. Um, you can search up your Gear Hulk or uh, Palantir with Goblin Engineer um, or Reckless Gamble. Put in my graveyard. Mm. Yes. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. Oh, no. Not the ley line. Oh, well. Not the ley line. Well, this is weird. Oh, they're playing green also? All right. Let's see what happens. We were we were one card away from dealing a minimum of 10 if they mill here. They just mill, right? Can we 21 them? No. You don't want to pick odd? I mean... Let's see what happens. Oh, take, take 10. Take 10. Oh, and they scooped. Oh, my gosh. Well, we got to we got to hit him for 10. That felt good. No, I mean, it's just going to be an entirely different deck, right? Tuna smells. I've played this person before because I remember that name. What does the other part of that card do besides um, just the five damage? Uh, what are we discarding here? I think I want to discard this. Uh, what a great draw. Holy moly. Remember, believe in the Blood Sun and draw the Blood Sun. Uh, so it just pings anything? Yep, you got our mountain. I 
I do like the fact that we hit their white source right there. This is, no, of course they had other plans, it's fine. All right, well, I guess we're, I guess we're losing both of our cards here. Boo urns, boo urns. Shouldn't have played, should not have played the mountain. Get their whole board. Okay. Oh, I can't, I can't play that because of the, uh, the Kornos. I guess we're going to take a draw here. Um, Amazing, amazing. Man, they are just on point with the lands. How many lands have we killed? Three? Hostage taker? doesn't matter right like nothing would happen all right deck one one time oh that was a good that was a good hit chupacabra Well, we uh, we've laid it all out there. I, I have to play it because they're playing discard. That's probably a discard spell in their hand. All right. So if I sack the three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I can cast any anything that I draw, especially that. Oh my God, we're gonna lose to these burglar rats, aren't we? No, maybe not. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Come on. No, tuna smells, come back. That was a crazy game. Holy moly, I'm glad they ran out of steam. But even then, right, even with Waste Not, right, once you get them empty-handed, then all of your discard spells do nothing. Uh, we go first. Do we believe in this?
Green, red. What are you doing over there? Werewolves. Werewolves. I didn't know this is a thing. What does this do? Oh my god, look at that draw. Look at that draw. I mean, this is just a scoop, right? Like they didn't they didn't draw any land. Begin of combat on your turn, target wolf or werewolf control gets plus two. Whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn. I mean, this just ends the game, right? Like, but we're we're here for this. <clears throat> Came here to hulk it out. Uh oh. Salty rope. All right. They didn't fall for it. They're gonna make they're gonna make us cast all of our expensive cards. So whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn. That's just attack. We only need one spell this turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next turn. Who? He's so cute. That's only till end of turn. Oh, what was I worried about then? What was I worried about? I'm sorry, my friend. I'll let you keep your pup, though. Your pup is cute. I'll let you keep your pup. Uh, I mean, it was a pretty neutral. It was a pretty neutral game. We'll skip that. go first yeah turn two yeah let's let's do it let's do it um I don't need another one of those so let's deal seven to them because you know they're You know they're, you know, yeah. You knew, you knew they were going to mill it. Hey, look. Hey, look, it's that deck again. Um, so if we do this, three, four...
three, four. Now they mill us, right? Because we went double bottom. Now we, we didn't set it up. They just casually take nine. All right. <laughs> but that's the thing, though, like... This Dreadhorde Arcanist can just, like, get us. Oh, come on. Opponent. Opponent. Don't feel bad. You did it to yourself. I mean, these games... These games are going really, really well. We haven't turned two Bloodsund yet, have we? I don't think we have. Oh, didn't we just talk about this? All right. Don't you dare uber mulligan. I love it. Oh, I love it so much right now. You'll never gain life from your lands again. I mean, I'm probably going to Valakut Awakening. No. Uh, or we're doing nothing. All right. It feels bad because of the one the one game where we actually get to drop turn two blood sun and, and then they just scoop it up. I think we have to keep that. Oh no. Are we about to get Minion of the Mightied? Probably. Oh no. Uh... Man, if we could hit a Lotus Field here, I'd feel a lot better about myself. So, like, I don't think they have... They have to have Pump, right? They just don't have a payoff here? Is that what? Is that what it is? Eh. I don't trust it. Yep, 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 yep. I'm pretty sure we played that deck once and the games were really, really quick. Let's hope for a let's hope for a good game and a good win. Ultra. Holy moly. Um, Blood Sun. This is a weird hand, right? Like, this is... This should probably be a mulligan. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Holy... Ken, thank you so much for the raid. Really appreciate that. Oh, what a nice stream you've got there. Um... Tali. 
yeah, go check out uh, go check out Ken. Oh, Ken, uh, how was the uh, Hell card? Magic's going really well. We just built we built this deck a little while ago, and it has been performing really, really well. Is this a mutate deck? Oh, this is a mutate deck. Please don't gem razor me, bro. No, oh, don't gem razor me, bro. Wall of Blossoms. What are you playing? Wall of Blossoms. I will ask again, what are you playing? Maybe this is... Yeah, this is the... Um, the Neoform combo deck, right? Like, it just has to be. Well, you got too many. You got too much stuff in play. I mean, we can't, we can't kill it. All right, Ken. Well, hey, thanks again for the raid. Uh, really appreciate it. It's always good seeing you. Creatures you control have haste. All right. Well, yeah, this is definitely the Neoform deck. So I guess we just get rid of what we can. And then just hope this hits, right? Hey, Method. How goes it? Just hit all the ones that make blue. I don't know how many cards they need. Okay, well, it doesn't matter, right? I was like, uh, I just didn't know how many cards they needed to uh, neoform. Um, what is it, storm, storm caller or whatever it is? Um, yeah, all right. Well, wins a win. All right, welcome back to the wrap up. Now we played a ton of games with this deck on stream. We actually did not get to record some of them, um, just because you know sometimes I have music playing and I uh, don't want to have to worry about crazy you know strikes or anything like that, but. Out of all the games we played, uh, the one re the ones we recorded, we recorded 11 games. I, I don't think we featured all 11 that we recorded, but out of those 11 games, we only lost one of them. And then on top of that, I think we played four more games or maybe five more games total. And out of those, we only lost one additional game. So we were tearing people up with this deck. Again, with, with decks like this, if you do get really good draws... Uh, and and I know you know a lot of a lot of the variance does come into play, but um, with with Blood Sun, I do think Blood Sun is just one of those cards that can be really really busted. It can lead to some just busted things, especially with lands that tap for more than one mana. And if we're able to just power that out as quickly as possible, and just start casting these cards that are just so over the top before your opponent is ready to actually do anything with them or do anything about them then it's just going to make for really, really one-sided games. And that's really what we enjoy doing uh, on this channel um, and in general is just trying to power out uh, Blood Sun, trying to uh, power out Lotus Field, and then just, you know, do as much as we can. So, um, yeah, other than that, this deck being a lot of fun. Uh, Palantir was actually super fun to play. Uh, I was actually really impressed with it. I was really hesitant to actually craft those. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a little limited on wild cards since I haven't been keeping up with the collection since I've been out for so long. Um, and I wasn't really too worried about crafting a couple of Vitalis because they're regular rares and I have a lot more rare wild cards than I do mythics. 
Um, and I initially thought I was going to be playing three Palantirs in this deck. I cut it down to two. I actually, I do think that two was the right number because of the fact that we are playing Combustible Gear Hulks. Um, overall, though, this deck is pretty expensive to, to build. There's a ton of rares. There are uh, a ton of Mythics. The Some of the Mythics you have to craft because if you did not get in during those anthologies and were not able to purchase them either with gems or gold or, or money or you know the, the all-powerful credit card, then you do have to waste those really valuable wild cards. Um, and yeah, so it's an expensive deck. But again, if you're a fan of this channel and you've played any of my big red decks uh, in the past, you probably have a lot of these cards. Let's be, let's be realistic. And this is uh, a variation of those decks. So really there's just a, a few cards in. And if you've been buying any Lord of the Rings um, or any of the sets prior, you probably have the Palantirs, you probably have the Atalis. Um, but yeah, build this, do with it what you will. Um, you know, play it responsibly. Um, but honestly, just have fun with it. This deck is a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy seeing people play my decks, um, you know, whether they be unranked or unranked uh, anytime afterwards. I've, I've definitely run into some people playing my decks against me, um, and it's really cool, uh, especially when they emote me telling me hello. And um, yeah, other than that, though, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, we do have some more videos coming out this week. Uh, again, pre-recorded from the weekend stream. So other than that, again, please, please, please tell me what you want to see. Please join me on the Discord. Please follow me on Twitch. Please come and hang out um, and just have a good time with us. We've uh, we've just been having a lot of a lot of fun streaming and a lot of fun in the voice chat. And uh, I, I think I'm gonna actually make a video uh, soon about a potential new uh, format that one of my friends has been working on that um, hopefully will take off because it uh, it actually sounds like a lot of fun. And I'm I'm working on a deck. Unfortunately, can't play it on Arena, but uh, but I may make a video talking about it because, uh, like I said, uh, I think it's a, a fun spin on the Commander format. Um, Going to tease you with that a little bit. So, But yeah, other than that, uh, again, I really appreciate each and, every one, uh, each and every one of you taking the time to watch my video. Again, I'm getting used to recording again, getting used to talking uh, to the camera in, you know, in such a way to explain things and instead of just having fun on stream. But uh, thanks again, everyone, for watching this video. Um, please, please, I implore all of you to stay safe. And we will see you all next time.